Welcome back as we continue to weed our way through the lawsuit filed against Sean Combs and many other defendants from Mr. Jones, who was a producer on the Love album. Many shocking allegations in here, probably many of which, it's easy to speculate, had something to do with the federal raid on the homes of Diddy very recently. We're now up to the section that uh, focuses on Cuba Gooding Jr. This is the sixth cause of action. Line 245 reads, Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth herein. Here, Mr. Jones was sexually assaulted by Cuba Gooding Jr. on a yacht rented by Mr. Combs in the U.S. Virgin Islands in January 2023. Mr. Combs was present while Mr. Jones was being assaulted by Cuba Gooding Jr. Mr. Jones was legally on the premise as a guest and invitee of Mr. Combs. Cuba Gooding Jr. was legally on the premises as a guest and invitee of Mr. Combs. Mr. Combs owned, through renting, the premises and had dominion and control over the premises for Mr. Jones' harm. Mr. Combs and Dominion had or had Dominion and control over the actions of Cuba Gooding Jr. and failed to step in and stop Cuba Gooding Jr. from sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. As the owner of the property, Mr. Combs had a duty to protect Mr. Jones from the harm suffered at the hands of Cuba Gooding Jr. Mr. Combs breached his duty when he failed to stop Cuba Gooding Jr. from sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. In furtherance of the breach, Mr. Combs encouraged Cuba Gooding Jr. to continue his assault of Mr. Jones when he said that Cuba Gooding Jr. should privately get to know Mr. Jones better. Mr. Jones has suffered immense, immensely because of Mr. Combs' intentional breach of duty to him. As a result, Mr. Combs' breach of duty, Mr. Jones has suffered and continues to suffer harm, including severe emotional distress, anxiety, and other consequential damages for which he is entitled to an award of monetary damages and other relief. The conduct of Mr. Combs described above was willful, wanton, and malicious, at all relevant times, Mr. Combs acted with conscientious disregard for plaintiff's rights and feelings, acted with the knowledge of or with reckless disregard for the fact that their conduct was certain to cause injury to plaintiffs and intended to cause fear, physical injury, and or pain and suffering to plaintiff by virtue of foregoing plaintiff is entitled to recover punitive damages. Now we're up to the seventh cause of action in this document, Trafficking and Victims Protection Act against defendant Sean Combs, Ju uh, Justin Combs, Christina Coram, and Combs Global. Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth within. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Coram, and Combs Global knowingly and intentionally participated in, uh, perpetrated, assisted, and supported, facilitated a sex trafficking venture that was in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce together with others, in violation of 18 U.S.C. 1591A1. Among other things, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Cram, and Combs Global knowingly and intentionally recruited, enticed, provided, obtained, advertised, and solicited by various means Mr. Jones, as well as other class members, knowing that defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Cram, and Combs Global would use means of force, threats of force, fraud, coercion, and a combination of such means to cause Mr. Jones, as well as others, some of whom were under the age of 17, to engage in commercial sex acts. Defendants, listed again, had actual knowledge that they were perpetrating and facilitating Mr. Combs' sexual abuse and sex trafficking conspiracy to recruit, solicit, entice, coerce, harbor, transport, obtain, and provide Mr. Jones, as well as others, whom were under the age of 17, into commercial sex acts through means of force, threats of force, fraud, abusive power, and coercion. Despite such knowledge, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karim, and Combs Global intentionally paid for, facilitated, perpetrated, and participated in Mr. Combs' violation of 18 U.S.C. 1591A1, which defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karim, and Combs Global knew and were reckless in disregard of the fact that Mr. Combs would coerce, defraud, and force Mr. Jones to engage in commercial sex acts. Defendants, again listed, were in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce, including its music distributing and publishing activities, which were in and affecting interstate foreign commerce. By taking the concrete steps alleged in this complaint, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karam, and Combs Global knowingly participated in sex trafficking and furthered the Combs sex trafficking venture. The concrete steps constituted taking part in sex trafficking venture 
and were necessary for its success. The concrete steps continued uh, active endangerment by defendant Sean Combs, again, listing uh, all of the defendants off again, uh, that is active uh, engagement would lead to and cause coercive commercial sex trafficking. As part of a perpetrating TVPA violations between and or about September 12, 2022, and through and or about November 2023, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kareem, Combs Global concealed its delivery of hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash to Mr. Combs and his associates. As part of perpetrating TVPA violations, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Cream, and Combs Global also willfully failed to fire, file required taxes with the federal government. There's another issue that uh, there's a lot in here uh, that they're going to get Diddy on uh, if they're true. And I, I don't have any reason to believe they are. They are not. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karam and Combs Global affir Affirmative Conduct was committed knowing and in a reckless disregard of the facts. Mr. Combs would use cash and the financial support provided by defendants Love Records, Motown Records, and the Universal Music Group as a means of defrauding, forcing, and coercing sex acts from Plaintiff Jones as well as others. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karam, and Combs Global Conduct was outrageous and intentional. On or about January 2023, Justin Combs engaged in a freak off session on a yacht with his father and sex workers. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kareem and Combs Global knowing and intentionally conduct conduct has caused Mr. Jones serious harm, including without limitation, physical, psychological, emotional, financial, and reputational harm. Defendants Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kareem and Combs Global knowing and intentional conduct has caused Mr. Jones harm that is sufficiently serious under all surrounding circumstances to compel a reasonable person of the same background in the same circumstance to perform or to continue performing commercial sexual activity in order to avoid incurring that harm. This does not involve mere fraud. Instead, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Karam, and Combs Global criminal conduct in perpetrating TVPA violations was outrageous and intentional because it was deliberate furtherance of a widespread and dangerous criminal sex trafficking organization. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kram, and Combs Global Criminal Conduct also convinced a high degree, uh, also evidence, uh, rather, a high degree of moral turpitude and demonstrated such wanton dishonesty as to imply a criminal indifference to civil obligations. Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kram, and Combs Global Criminal Conduct was directed specifically at Mr. Jones, who was the victim of Mr. Combs' sexual abuse and sex trafficking harassment. Uh, defendants, again, listed uh, outrageous and intentional conduct in this case as part of a pattern and practice of defendants, Sean Combs, Justin Combs, again listed, by undertaking illegal high-risk, high-reward actions. By virtue of knowing and intentional violations of 18 U.S.C. 1591A1 1595, Defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kareem, Combs, Glo Combs Global are, is liable to Mr. Jones for damages they sustained and reasonable attorney's fees. Cause 8, California premise liability, inadequate or negligent security. Let's go through that. Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth here within. At all times here in defendant LR, MR, UMG, CRS, and Sean Combs acted in a course and scope of the agency, employment, and representation of each other, and with the knowledge, consent, direction, approval, and ratification of each other's act, omissions, and conduct on or about September 12, 2022, at the Chalice Recording Studios located at 845 Highland Avenue, Los Angeles, did so negligently, carelessly, and without due care, regard and concern for the right, safety, and health of the plaintiff, and in regard to such premises, did so control, own, supervise, manage, and lease, had responsibility for the safety of plaintiff and adequate security personnel and security devices of the CRS. At the aforementioned time and place, defendant LRMRUMG, CRS, and Sean Combs, and each of them 
negligently maintained, managed, controlled, and operated the Chalice Recording Studios, and that they did not maintain and provide adequate security for the plaintiff or the other artists, producers, and songwriters, and creatives who attended Sean Combs' Love Album Writers Camp. Defendants knew, or in the exercise of reasonable care should have known, security was required and necessary, and the lack of such security would constitute a dangerous condition and unreasonable risk of harm of which plaintiff was at all times here and mentioned unaware. Defendant LR, MR, UMG, CRS, and Sean Combs had security check the songwriters, producers, and artists, but neglected to search Justin Combs and Sean Combs for the possession of firearms when they entered CRS. Defendant LR, MR, UMG, CRS, and Sean Combs negligently failed to take steps to either provide adequate security, to make the condition safer, or warn plaintiffs of the dangerous condition, all of which caused plaintiffs or plaintiff to suffer injuries. At a proximate result of the negligence of defendants and each of them, plaintiff was hurt and injured in his health, strength and activity, sustaining injuries to the nervous system and person, all of which injuries have caused and continue to cause plaintiff great mental, physical, and nervous pain and suffering. As a result of such injuries, plaintiff has suffered general damages in an amount according of, to proof. To further approximate result of negligence of defendants, plaintiff has incurred and will occur to incur medical and related expenses in an amount according to proof. Wherefore, plaintiff of judgment against defendant and each of them as follows. General damage according to proof for actual medical expenses incurred. For medical expenses according to proof for loss of uh, earning for interest according to law, for cost of suit incurred herein, and for such other and further relief as the court may deem just and proper. A lot of that referencing the shooting that took place in that restroom uh, that he alleges was either Diddy's son or Diddy himself that they convinced the LAPD was a drive-by shooting in front of a recording studio. That is going to be investigated a lot. It's going to be investigated. The trials of Sean Combs are going to be going on for the next 10 years at least because there's so many things here that are all kind of separate from each other that deserve their own charges and deserve their own case because they affect so many different people. It's going to be very interesting to continue watching. The ninth cause of action, aiding, abetting, and inducing sex trafficking venture in violation of the trafficking victims. That's what's coming up next as we continue to work our way through the lawsuit against Diddy and the civil lawsuit here that uh, certainly has likely sparked, sparked, or at least one of the reasons for the sparking of the federal investigation into Sean Diddy Combs. There's more to come from True Crime Today and the Hidden Killers podcast. I am Tony Bruschi. Stay with us.